Hi and welcome back. In this video I'll be discussing fertilizers. Um, I will not go into the whole complexity of the issue. I suggest you watch the BSOP Spring Fundamental series from Bonsai Mirai and there are plenty of other sources. So here I will just give you some of my tips and I hope uh, that helps clarify the issue and also make it easier for you. So I will be discussing a number of fertilizers here. This is a fully chemical plant prod in this case 202020. This is a slow release chemical fertilizer 141414. 14, 14. Also from Prant Prod, but Osmocod, Nutricod, there are a number of brands. This is organic fertilizer, Biogold, uh, the one that Ryan Neal uses exclusively. And in here, although I don't have the label, this is so four different kinds. This one here you dilute with water and you use it as you water. Sorry for the train again. This one is a slow release, so this is uh, for uh, six months. Um, six months. This one is Bio Gold, which should be replenished every uh, four weeks. And this is organic, also four weeks. Uh, this is a powder and granules mix. So, what are the advantages and disadvantages and problems? Uh, as far as my knowledge now goes according to many sources chemical fertilizers such as this does make so that the plant does not require to form mycorrhiza associations with the fungi in the roots as you know the mycorrhiza is a way for the roots to extend their reach and absorb more nutrients and more water uh, whilst giving back to the to the fungi nutrients it's highly beneficial and it's been shown in certain studies to improve the immune response of plants to numerous types of um, attacks biotic and abi abiotic uh, so according to these sources when you use this you will be inhibiting mycorrhizal production and so many people prefer to use exclusively organic some people mix both the organic fertilizer is in a form that it requires microbial activity to break down the compounds in which the nitrogen comes uh, into forms that are assimilable by the plant so this therefore requires that the temperature be above approximately um, 10 degrees if I'm not mistaken so there are many people particularly here in Canada for example that in early spring will start with chemical and then switch to organic and then in the fall when it's starting to get cold go back to the chemical at a time where microbial activity will in both extremes of the growing season at a time when microbial activity will not be as efficient yet the plant is still actively growing. The roots grow uh, above um, 45 Fahrenheit, which is approximately, um, if I'm not mistaken, five degrees more or less. I'll check that. Um, so you can dilute it in water, you can spread it on the surface of your pot, or you can have a better control of when and where, well with this one too also, but when and how much uh, fertilizer if you want to use organic with this, that then you have to either put on the surface of the pot, but be careful when you water, or if your the surface is somewhat at an angle, let's say the root ball is, is inclined because of the way that you, the technique that you had to use for repotting, then you have to use tea bags. Now the tea bags, there are many kinds. This kind was the cheapest I found when I first bought it, and it's not it's 
not very good in my experience the problem with this is that even after several months it's still intact apparently it's not paper or it's not some uh, it's not a material that can be easily decomposed although it says uh, biodegradable when I bought it so and, and it's white also which is ugly so now I will try this other newer new tea bags that I bought which are made of a very thin paper and it's also brown so I, I hope that this will improve both the aesthetics and the function in the pot in the sense that it will degrade faster when you have an organic fertilizer you need microbial activity so you need you need it as much as possible uh, in contact with the surface of, the, of, of, of your pot um, how do we attach it to the pot? you can use toothpicks I use uh, pieces of leftover wire from, from my wiring I make it into hooks so let's say that I have this I make it into a zigzag and then I simply cut it like so here's another one this is wire that I would if I knew already how to recycle copper wire or aluminum wire I would recycle it but here I'm recycling it in the sense of giving it a second life how much fertilizer? Bonsai Mirai has a whole um, approach to quantifying the amount of fertilizer of course, of course first and foremost how much you use depends on what are you trying to accomplish it will be different in a tree that is in development from a tree that is in uh, um, in uh, refinement and it will be different from let's say a ponderosa pine or other long needle single flush pines from for example a short needle single flush or a multi flush pine all these different species will require different amounts and different timings for fertilizer usage so that you can keep the tree healthy and, and thriving whilst achieving the goal that you want in terms of the size of the foliage or, or the amount of growth um, so also what affects the amount of fertilizer is the number of um, the number of uh, the size of your pot so Bonsai Mirai quantifies this by number of locations and uh, what else uh, you also have uh, differences in spring and fall fertilization fertilization and again depending on the species so I will not get into all these details for all of this I suggest you subscribe to Bonsai to Mirai Live follow or, or at the very least watch the spring fundamentals video that um, that I mentioned earlier um, and um, that's it so a um, few more pointers why where do I stand on the organic versus chemical fertilizer Walter Paul uses only chemical fertilizer now please go and read his blog post about substrates fertilization and watering the three issues are connected particularly when you use um, or chemical fertilizer but in his case he uses only chemical fertilizer the cheapest he can buy even without any respect any consideration about the NPK uh, content and yet absolutely no one in the whole world can deny the quality the amount of refinement and the beauty of these trees and therefore this is an argument an empirical argument as to the fact that you can use purely chemical fertilizer without ill effect if you know how to use it 
That's true of many techniques by Walter Paul, by Walter, my friend and my teacher, who on the surface seems very easy because that's his goal to develop techniques that are easy because he has a large collection. Yet, if uh, misapplied, um, will not have the proper results and quite the opposite. So, again, I suggest you if you use the techniques of Walter Paul to go learn with him. Walter Paul has um, has um, workshops in Europe at the Bonsai Garden in Munich, for example. Uh, he has workshops in the US at the Hidden Gardens and at Nature's Way, where I go twice a year. So if you want to meet me, come over. It's a lot of fun. And that's where you learn all the nuances and all the details of how to apply Walter Paul's techniques properly. I bought the small bags. It's kind of hard sometimes to realize what size of bags you're buying. We'll see if this was the right choice or not. So, like I said here, I'm using this um, organic fertilizer, which is uh, it's poma plant tone mixed with Dr. Earth Life. Why why Dr. Earth Life mixed with plant prod? Simply because this was the cheapest that I could find this spring, and I doubt that it makes much difference. Um, so I'm putting a tablespoon, which sort of fills this bag, and simply close it like this and that's it so now I will take this tea bag with the hook and attach on a tray to show you let me flip the camera so this is the tree as you can see the root ball is very steep and simply what I will do is put it like this and attach it and clamp it in place now this is in contact with the surface and it will deteriorate with time and it's also less ugly than those white tea bags when do i use each of these different types of fertilizer um, i use uh, the slow release on all collected trees as per Randy Knight's uh, approach. I use BioGold on refined trees just simply because it's too expensive to be using it everywhere. I use uh, this one here, the Spoma Plantone mixed with Dr. Earth Life on everything. And I stopped using this one simply for the fact that I don't have a, a liquid injector in which I would be able to put a concentrated solution of this uh, chemical fertilizer and uh, dilute it as I water the trees with a, with a hose. At the moment what I need to do if I want to use this I have to dilute it in a, in a can and then use a simple, spray, a simple watering can to, to water which takes just too much time so what I do is that uh, I start fertilizing maybe I fertilize once uh, or twice weekly or bi-weekly early spring with this when microbial activity is not yet at its best and then I switch to organic fertilizer for the rest of the season um, but I really don't like this simply for the reason that it's inconvenient to, to apply. A few more points on, on fertilizing. When, what do you fertilize? You fertilize a tree that is growing. A tree that is not growing doesn't need fertilizer. It has enough nutrients within its vascular system and roots uh, produced by photosynthesis that it doesn't need any additional nutrients. Um, when to fertilize? 
in broad terms beyond the discussion of specific species you fertilize from beginning of growth to end of vascular growth so essentially you don't fertilize in winter uh, clearly the tree cannot obtain nutrients from the soil and if you have summer dormancy in your area which in many areas for example like Montreal you do not necessarily have um, the, the season is compressed uh, in that case you don't fertilize in summer if you fertilize at the time where the tree is not using those resources the highest the high concentration of salts in the substrate will actually compete with the roots for the up for the for for water clearly you don't fertilize in winter especially if you have uh, uh, freezing conditions like we do here do not uh, fertilize a tree that is not growing beyond that you have the specifics for each species you have the specifics for what are you trying to accomplish is it refining refinement is it development if your trees are in development you fertilize them like crazy there's no point of holding back a tree that you need to seal wounds, uh, develop length, develop uh, ramification, and so on. So if your tree is in development, you fertilize from the beginning of growth in the spring to the end of vascular growth in, a, in the fall and you stop in the summer if you have summer dormancy otherwise like us here in Montreal just go ahead thank you for watching and if you like this video please subscribe and share give it a like and until the next one bye bye